Hello and welcome to a new video where I show you how to change the sound of libraries very quickly. At first we've got the Grandeur by Native Instruments. And now I want to play the same pitch but change the sound. Okay, here is the tuning. And now I go to the MIDI parameters, transpose plus one octave, and here minus one octave. Original. And here is the new version. And now let's change it a little bit more. Let's say min minus 18 and here plus 18. And now let's do the opposite. Here we choose plus 12 and here minus 12. Sounds more like a harpsichord or cembalo. Let's go higher, two octaves and here minus two. So that's really different. Okay, let's go to another library. Here I have Stratus by Bitfire Audio. Okay, so let's check how high I can go. Great, okay. So now let's choose minus. 12 and here uh, let's say plus 12. And let's do one more octave. So it changes the sound very much. Now I can add some delays. And perhaps uh, we can add the decapitator. Yeah, that's beautiful. And some reverb. Let's try the 
Black Hole. So you can create very beautiful textures, just uh, the black hole on its own. And let's rise up the polyphony. So I could play this this very long. Okay, next what I like to do is the Chamber Ways by uh, Spitfire Audio and Oliver Arnolds. Very beautiful evolutions. And now let's choose the Tremador. Turn it down. And now the tremolo is very slow for the right pitch. Let's go to here and let's say minus 18 and uh, no, no. Plus 18, transpose and here minus 18. Now it sounds more like a like a flute. Let's take the faster version. Now I'll play one octave lower. And let's add some uh, low pass filter very fast. And now I play deeper, so um, I guess the lowest keys um, are not really possible. So when I deactivate this one, let's go to here. Yeah, so this key uh, is not, not possible to play, but when I'm doing uh, this here it comes and what I like to do is to to work with um, um, not emotions, uh, yeah, motions. So here we got the Evo strings, 
Spitfire Audio has a few very beautiful um, moving libraries. So here we got the Evo Grid 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 and 2 are the strings. Uh, three, uh, 3, 2 is the motions and 4 is the woodwinds. So let's try this one and just set it to 0 here. And here we can choose some random um, evos or articulations. Let's say uh, random all, any, yeah, so. And uh, let's do this and this. So it can be nice to, to pitch it higher. So this doesn't sound like, like a normal um, instrument. Let's do this. Is it playing? And change it to minus 12. And let's do the moving very slow. And the last one is a piano tremolo in Metropolis Arc 2. Very beautiful sound. And let's do the same trick. Here we do one octave fire and here lower and more oh no here more too
So you see, it's very easy to change the character of the sound. Um, I love to pitch things down. Um, I love to use it with samples that have some, some motion in it. And it's great to do it with strings or woodwinds that you can play. So use uh, the Spitfire strings or some woodwinds and you just play the, the normal sound. So for example, here, uh, let's choose um, some patches from the ensembles. I guess we can change. Ah, uh, yes, advanced. Let's choose the long consodino. Very beautiful patch. And uh, this is how it sounds normal. And let's choose one octave. And let's take 18 half tones. Let's take two octaves again. That's more spooky. Now, uh, I want to, to add both versions, but I want to choose the last one. Is it possible now? No, I can't hear anything. Oh, that has, that has been wrong. This one. Yeah. So now uh, let's do the right thing. We say strings edit. And here we say strings original, deactivate the MIDI transpose. And in here, let's tune it to zero. Okay, so here is the original and the edit version. Now let's reduce this one. Just the original. No, no, uh, this is the one. and both. So that's a very fast method for changing the character of a sound. When you like this video, just give me a thumb up. And when you have some questions or suggestions, just leave a comment. See you the next time. Bye.